Welcome back to Finch Brothers Smokers Barbecue Review, where we try it before you buy it. And we're gonna make some candied butter pecan pecans. Pecan, pecan, whatever you call it. I call it pecan. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and make some uh, smoked, some maple cinnamon toast crunch pecan. I've got my smoker fired up to about 285 degrees. Uh, I've got about a quarter cup here of maple syrup. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the nuts with some duck fat to uh, make sure that some of this seasoning and uh, rub is gonna stick. I've got about two pounds here, but I'm probably only gonna need about a pound and a half. And all I wanna do is kinda get it on a, a level playing field here so I can make sure I coat every side, every edge of the pecans. And this duck fat, you can see it at most uh, grocery stores. I find this at my local hy V. I'm pretty sure they're starting to carry it at most hardware stores in their barbecue section, as well as you'll find it at Walmart. It's a great all around uh, oil spray. It just, it, it could replace your Pam. Uh, I use this when I make eggs, when I, I've actually used it as a binder on my steaks to spritz it on there. Uh, it, it doesn't add, uh, it doesn't add like a duck flavor. It's just a nice rich fattiness that uh, you can cook things on and it just replaces your pan. And I'm just gonna get these covered. As I knock everything down. I just wanna make sure that I've got uh, every side of the nut covered in some of that oil to make sure everything sticks. And um, the maple syrup will help as well as that binder, but I wanted to get an initial coating of that duck fat, uh, just to add a little bit of richness, like I said, that it, it kind of brings. And this is Cinnamon Toast Crunch seasoning. Absolutely love Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. Uh, I don't eat it enough as an adult, but this seasoning is wicked good. My wife likes to use it on yogurt, and uh, I just want to get a nice dusting on them. Uh, it smells just like a bowl of Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. Um, just want to make sure you get these all covered real nice. And uh, if you've ever been to any kind of a sporting event, they always have a little stand, pop-up stand with uh, uh, candied nuts. This is essentially going to be as close to or similar to that, but instead of them cooking it, uh, in the fashion that they do. I'm going to be smoking it on my smoker. And we'll go in with some of this Fergalicious seasoning. And then I'm going to be putting the maple syrup on uh, last to make sure that I coat all sides of it. And this, this seasoning is buttery, it's nutty, it's sweet. It's a little salty, uh, so I'm not gonna add any extra salt to it because I'm getting enough out of it that uh, I don't need to go ahead and put any extra on. We'll go ahead and finish this up with about the quarter cup of maple syrup. Like I said, this is just some generic store brand maple syrup, nothing fancy, and get these good and covered. And I might go back over them one last time. Uh, with the seasoning to make sure I've got plenty that'll stick on there. <laughs> Plot twist. I am going to ramp up the sugar uh, content of it, just with a little bit of sugar in the raw, and I am gonna add some more salt to it. I just tasted a couple of them, and I wanted a little bit more salt, so I'll just salt them, and I will come in with some sugar in the raw. The sugar in the raw has been my new favorite, uh, new favorite sugar to use in all, facets of cooking 
Uh, I actually like it in some of my uh, cookies that I've made. Uh, it's just pretty much replaced my granulated white sugar in my kitchen just because I, it has more molasses in it. Uh, just adds a, a richer, richer flavor to things. And uh, you can see the nice crystals on these here. Don't those look great? Man, these are gonna be good. Just got done stirring the pecans. I'm pretty sure they're ready to go. I'm going to just go grab them off the smoker and give you a big reveal. Uh, I want to put them on a cool surface so they can harden. Uh, some of that sugar is melted uh, as well as the maple syrup. Everything's kind of bonded together to make these candied pecans. Uh, they smell amazing. Uh, actually flavored them with some pecan wood and of course I'm always using the good charcoal. Go to thegoodcharcoal.com and pecans are done. And we're just gonna put them on this tin foil to cool. You can see some of that sugar has melted. All that caramelized goodness. So that sugar has a higher burn point than uh, brown sugar uh, because it's just raw cane sugar. I think it's got a better flavor. It's got more molasses -y, rich, deep flavor. And the higher melting point just makes it really, really user friendly. Uh, it's a little more forgiving. And I'm going to let these cool off a little bit before I dig in and tell you how they are. These have cooled off for about five, 10 minutes. And uh, I did sprinkle them with one more little sprinkle of the cinnamon toast crunch, cinnamon toast crunch seasoning. So let's do an overview of what we did here. We took some uh, pecan halves and I spread them out on a pan. I sprayed them down with a little bit of duck fat to give them a nice coating before I went ahead and covered them with some cinnamon toast crunch seasoning. This stuff is phenomenal. It's a really good dessert type seasoning and it pretty much reminds you of a bowl of that cereal. It's cinnamony, very cinnamon forward. Uh, it's got a good bit of sugar in it. Uh, followed that up with some Fergalicious Smoke Show Butter Pecan. This adds a, a butteriness and more savory note to the nuts. Uh, it does have some spices in there. Go light on that. Uh, it does add another layer of flavor to it. But then I went ahead and I used a quarter cup of maple syrup and sprinkled it with some sugar in the raw to finish things up. Ran them on my smoker about 285 degrees. Uh, it took about 20, 20 minutes before I saw some, some of that sugar started kind of bubbling and stirred those around real good to make sure everything stayed coated about evenly and another 20 minutes, uh, these were done at 40 minutes. It just had melted just enough and I could see some of the nuts were starting to toast. Uh, none were burning and that's when I pulled it, cooled them off here and we'll go ahead and try it. It's candied. Candied is in the sugar did melt nicely and blended well with that maple syrup. It seems like it's coated very well. I did dust it one more time with that cinnamon, but you can hear it's got a nice, nice crunchy candied coating. It's really good. Uh, the sugar, the sugar in the raw adds a, another layer of sugar 
to it because you get more cinnamon out of this than sweetness, but it does have a little bit of sugar in it. And there is quite a bit of sugar in this butter pecan. There's a savory note. I did get a little bit of spices. It doesn't overwhelm you. It's not spicy per se. Uh, it's just something else that's going on in the nuts. Highly recommend these. These are, these are really good. Something new to try. It's buttery. It's sweet. It's got some crunch from that sugar. Gonna definitely make these again. They turned out perfectly. If you like today's video, please go ahead and like the video, subscribe, and click on that alarm bell to notify you when we release another video. And hopefully you share this with your family and friends and give this recipe a try. If you find something new that you add to it that makes it even better, please comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching today's video on candy pecan maple cinnamon toast crunch buttery pecan maple cinnamon toast crunch smoked pecans <laughs>